Hello and welcome to this BB Education cutting tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking you through a short graduation, but with a slight amount of disconnection to help you maintain some length on the fringe, but as well as maintaining a very, very short back and sides. The haircut is started at the side on a diagonal back section. In this instance, our diagonal is sitting close to the vertical to help us not build too much weight. Our vertical shape is pulled 90 degree from the head shape, so it's pulled directly out parallel to the walls. And our vertical shape is triangle, which means it's going to be short at the bottom, getting longer towards the top. So that's our vertical shape. But what you see me now is taking section two. And now I'm lifting section one to meet section two. Well, the idea here is, is that section one and section two meet in the middle of each other's bases. So we don't fully over direct section one to meet two, and we don't over direct section two fully to meet one. But in this instance, they actually meet one another in the middle. To maintain consistency with this, we remove section one, we have section two and we have section three. And once again, our elevation is 90 degree. The shape of my fingers is vertically triangular, but the triangle is sitting closer to the vertical to ensure we don't build too much weight and give ourselves a weight line. So now you'll see us working our section, working long at the top and working short into the nape. This will cross over into the hairline, working further into the other side at the bottom than the top of our section. So don't be alarmed if your section is crossing over past the middle of the back of the head. You see the shape it's giving us here, this beautiful short external shape, but giving us a long, heavier shape at the top. This is now completed, so we're free to go ahead and start the other side. In the same way, it's diagonal back section, working closer to the vertical, pulled out 90 degree from the head shape. So we simply maintain everything we've spoke about we're doing. All our sections are pulled out 90 degree. The very top of our section is just slightly lower to ensure that we don't take the haircut 
too short as the head rounds away. But all our sections, especially the nape here, are working quite close to the head. So you'll notice our sections, the lower you go with this haircut, you'll notice that your fingers are closer to the actual head shape. And the higher you go, the further away your hand is. But this is what gives us the shape you can see now, which has got a short outline, but a long internal shape. You'll notice each section I take, I'm removing the previous section, just to ensure that I've only got two sections working at once. So my vertical shape is still triangular and my horizontal shape is still round. What you'll notice is here is I now have a guideline from the other side. That's the great thing about your first section crossing into the other side. It really helps us to anchor what we're doing and connect into both sides. That's a great way of checking as well. Now we can restart the side we started with, ensuring we connect into the other side. This is what I call crossover graduation. It's where I'm using a guideline from both sides, one at a higher point and one at a lower point. And this enables me to ensure that my weight is in fact built around the curve of the head or the occipital bone and not built horizontally. This would give us a flatter effect around the curve of the head opposed to the shape we have, which means the weight is following the curve of the head seamlessly and giving us a fluid shape. We will now wrap dry the hair, ensuring we get all the bend out of the root areas getting a flat result, enabling us to assess our haircut and take the next steps. What we have got is an obvious weight line, but we, our outline is too long. What you'll see me doing here is a scissor over comb technique, which essentially is where I take my comb, I take it vertical, not following the head shape, just straight up vertical. I take the comb slow, but I move my scissors fast. This is a little bit like using a clipper, but the difference is this enables me to really vary the amount of hair that's taken off and really build that around the head shape. In my opinion, this is a much more tailored way of giving a really short external shape. Opposed to the clippers that are a little bit more definite and give a bit more of a aggressive technique, this gives a very soft tailored finish to our haircut. We're utilizing the weight line that we built in with our short graduation as an example of where we're going to lift our orange comb up and stop the cutting motion. So now you can really see the end result of what we've achieved, giving a very short outline, but maintaining all the length on the round of the head and above the round of the head, giving a really, really beautiful short graduation. Now we release the hair on top. It's time for us to bring that in and start to blend it in. But where do we blend it and how? The idea is it will blend seamlessly into the crown area, but it will disconnect through the apex into the front zone our sections will run from the point of our delta section, working seamlessly into the front. So it's higher at the top of the section and lower at the front. So our sections are traveling four diagonal. We lift the section, basing our guideline on the section beneath it. So we're still graduating here. Our guide section is lifted slightly, but our cutting section is lowered to meet the section. So it's getting longer towards the top all the time. Our cutting section is flat, which means we're cutting the hair flat to the head shape, which means it's going to be getting longer towards the front 
due to the head shape curving away from our cut line. All our sections are pulled down to the same stationary guide, meaning we're going to build the length quickly. We start on the same side, blending in to the crown area with a lower elevation. This means we're going to be taking off less hair as our guide is coming from the crown. And when we get to the front, you'll notice a very small amount of hair is removed. So that's section one. Section two is taken the same, but it's brought down to the same guide. So we're rapidly increasing the length. You could of course change this if you didn't want as much length or as much weight. You could of course change this due to the density of the hair or the client's preference. Once we've done this on both sides, it gives us a guideline. Here, we're just going to parallel point cut into the length to serrate and soften the effect. We're taking section two, elevating section two back onto section one. So the sections are traveling longer as they get to the front. Section three goes back to section two and we remove a good inch and a half of length that is excess. We're using the guideline from both sides as we've set them with our graduation technique. When I texturize, I often follow the same way I've cut the hair. So you'll notice I started at the sides, which is where I started to base my guideline for the top. Then I went through and I started to do it on top. Once complete, we're able to style the hair as desired. And that completes this tutorial. We really hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you again soon.